To start this lab off, we're going to measure um, the voltage produced by a standard cell. Some of the standard cells look kind of funky because they're really super old, and others, most of them actually, uh, look more like this one right here. Now, uh, when, we, when we measure it, what we're going to do is we're going to plug the wires into the battery itself, and then we're going to plug the wires into the uh, voltmeter. Now, before we get started, the one thing you need to do, or make sure you don't do, rather, is short circuit the cell. And you do that by connect connecting the two ends together. So if I was to take these two wires and smack them together, I'd be short circuiting the cell. Um, again, don't do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug the wires into the digital multimeter. And we're going to turn it on to DC voltage. Uh, and then we're going to get a readout for what the uh, voltage from the battery is. Now, on each of the batteries, you'll find a little sticker that has a number on it. That number is actual voltage that the batteries are putting out. Uh, so then you can compare the two and figure out how far off your multimeter is uh, from being completely accurate. Now, an important note is all these stickers, they have a little line right before the numbers that looks like a minus sign. It is not a minus sign. It's just a line. Okay. Now, also, if for some reason you plug everything in backwards, you'll notice that your voltage is negative. Uh, if that's happening, just switch the wires or take the absolute value of that number to get the correct voltage readout. Okay, so now that we've measured the voltage on the battery and we know uh, what the accuracy of our multimeter is, we're going to measure our uh, power supply. So when you use the power supply, you can adjust the voltage using this knob right here and you want to make sure that it's less than 5 volts. Now, there's two scales that you can use on here. There's a lower scale, which goes from 0 to 7 volts, and a higher scale, which goes from 0 to 25 volts. When we're doing this experiment, we're going to use the scale that goes from 0 to 7, so the lower scale. So, once you make sure that it's set below 5 volts, you can go ahead and plug in your wires. Um, when doing this, your red wire or your, your positive feed just goes to the plus 6 uh, port. Now, um, we have a ground over here, but then we also have a comp. And for this specific power supply, you do not want to take your ground into the ground. You want to actually take it to comp. So, we're going to go ahead and plug that into comp, and then we're going to get a readout up here. Once, once we get that readout, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the multimeter. And we're going to go ahead and plug our Data Studio uh, cables into here. That way, we can compare uh, the Data Studio readout to the multimeter readout and kind of get an idea of how far off Data Studio is. Okay. So now that that's, we've got that done, we're going to go ahead and remove the leads and we're actually going to plug them into the power amplifier from Data Studio, and we're going to use that to generate functions um, that we're going to use in this lab. Now also, we're going to also use our multimeter in conjunction with that, so we can just go ahead and plug that in behind the Data Studio cables, like so. Now for this, we're going to be generating wave functions. Um, so instead of using our DC current, like we've been using over here our DC voltage, we're going to use our AC voltage. So we're going to go ahead and switch to that and uh, proceed.